Now, the way I really got to it is I quit playing music for three months because I didn't want to compete with disco. (laughs) (laughs) I think the song was Bad Mamma Jamma. And you play that over and over for like 20 minutes. And I said, man, you could teach a chimpanzee to play this. I quit. And I quit the band. But the thing is, I started working at Warlines for music, which doesn't exist anymore. It was the oldest music store in the country. And I picked up the banjo just to clean it off. And tenor banjos are real popular in New Orleans because I, I, I have another theory for that. But I picked it up and, and I played it. I thought, man, that's very percussive. It's very short. And it reminded me of the funk lines that guitar players played. Like if I was in Earth, Wind, and Fire, something would be like. That, that kind of stuff. You know, Motown, there was always two guitar players, one playing chords, like. And the other going. Doing a little percussive part that was kind of like a fill. And I thought, damn, the banjo's perfect for that. You know, you don't have to mute the string or nothing. It's just popping right out there. It's perfect than muting a guitar string. So that attracted me. And then I just started to like the sound of it. I can tell you this. I grew up playing the music of my generation, the Earth, Wind, and Fire, James Brown. And we had a local group called the Meters. Mm-hmm. Who, I mean... and. And believe it or not, this, this triseo rhythm, this... Uh, that rhythm is, is based on... four-beat measure, one, two, three, four, ba, ba, ba. So while in Haiti, we had one, two, three, four. Or we had one, two, three, four. So the two of them together comes. Well, just about every hit song in New Orleans was based on that. 